this part of the video is going to have a look at what happens when you react acids and alkalis or bases together and how you can write the word equations for them. Okay, we're going to start off with metals reacting with acids then. So here we have sodium, which is our metal, reacting with hydrochloric acid, which is our acid, and you're asked to write the word equation for the reaction. Now the first key fact is that if you have hydrochloric acid, the ending of your salt will always be a chloride. And the second thing to know is that if you have a metal on its own, then you will get a byproduct, which is hydrogen gas. So if you wanted to write the word equation for this then, we take the name of the metal, which is sodium, and we're reacting with hydrochloric acid, so that's our, both our reactants. We then put our arrow in to show what we're forming, and then we take the name of our metal, which is sodium. We take our salt ending, which is chloride, so the name of our salt is sodium chloride. And then our byproduct, because we've got a metal on its own, is hydrogen. So you'll get one mark for sodium chloride and one mark for hydrogen. Let's look at another example then. This time we're reacting lithium and nitric acid. So I've still got my metal on my own, so I'm still going to get hydrogen as a byproduct. But this time I've got a different acid. So if you have nitric acid, the key is you will always have a nitrate. So all I need to do is the same again. Let's do my word equation. So I'm starting off with lithium and I'm reacting it with nitric acid. So it's lithium plus nitric acid. Then I put my arrow in. Same again, I take the name of my metal, which in this case is lithium. I take the ending of my salt, which is nitrate. So my salt is called lithium nitrate. I've got a metal on its own, so I'm forming hydrogen. So I'll get one mark for lithium nitrate and one mark for hydrogen. What a final example then. So in this case, I'm going to have copper and sulfuric acid. So again, I've got a metal on its own, but this time I've got sulfuric acid. So my salt ending in this situation is a sulfate, S-U-L-P-H-A-T-E. So I can then do my word equation. So start off with copper. I'm reacting it with sulfuric acid. Therefore, it's copper plus sulfuric acid. Put my arrow in. And then I take my name of my metal, copper. Take my ending to my salt, which is sulfate. So my salt is called copper sulfate. I have a metal on its own, so I have hydrogen. So one mark for copper sulfate, one mark for plus hydrogen. Okay, if we do a quick summary of our salt endings then, if you have hydrochloric acid, you will always have a chloride. Nitric acid gives you a nitrate and sulfuric acid gives you a sulfate. Really important to remember that guys, it will come up time and time again. Okay, we've looked at metals on their own. Let's move on to metal oxides reacting with acids. So here it's saying copper hydroxide is reacting with sulfuric acid. So as always, start off with putting your reactants in, which is copper hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. Now, when you have a metal on its own, you get hydrogen as a byproduct. But when you get hydroxide, you always get water. So it's always important to realize your byproduct is water in these situations. The rest of it is exactly the same. So we have sulfuric acid, so I have copper sulfate. I take the name of my metal, put the sulfate ending on, and then the hydroxide tells me that I get water. So my products are copper sulfate for one mark and water for the other. The final part of this video is going to have a look at what happens when you react a metal carbonate and an acid together. So the example I've used with you here is the reaction between copper carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So what you need to do is take your reactants and put them down. So in this case, again, we've got copper carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So copper carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. And then I put my arrow. So to work out the products, the first thing I do, as always, is I take the name of my metal, which in this case is copper. The ending part of the salt is exactly the same. So I've got hydrochloric acid, so I have a chloride. So the name of my salt for one mark is copper chloride. Now, the key difference is if you have a carbonate, you get two byproducts. One of them is water, and then the other one is carbon dioxide. So if you ever see a carbonate, doesn't matter what the metal is in front of it, and it's reacting with an acid, you'll get carbon dioxide and water. So you get one mark for copper chloride and one mark for water plus carbon dioxide. Right, that's about everything that's new in this video to learn. Let's just go through a summary of the byproducts then. So if I have a metal on its own, my byproduct will be hydrogen. So I'll get my salt plus hydrogen. 
if I have a metal oxide or metal hydroxide, then my byproduct will always be water. And finally, if I have a metal carbonate, I'll get my salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So my byproducts are water and carbon dioxide. Right, we have three neutralization reactions to look at. Question one is what happens when you react barium and nitric acid? Number two, potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. And number three, copper carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So have a go, write the answers down, and we'll see how you've done in a second. Okay, let's have a look then. So the first one, your reactants are barium and nitric acid. So what you need to do is take the name of your metal, which in this case is barium. Nitric acid means you have barium nitrate, which gives you one of your two marks. And then because it's a metal on its own, you have hydrogen given off. Question two, we've got potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. So we take the name of our metal, which is potassium. The ending from sulfuric acid, which gives me potassium sulfate for one mark. And then because we've got a hydroxide, it means we've got water, which is our byproduct. And then finally, copper carbonate and hydrochloric acid. We take our metal, copper. Hydrochloric acid tells us we've got a chloride. So we get copper chloride for one. And then the carbonate, we get two things, which is water and carbon dioxide for your second mark. That ends this part of the video. So we've got three review questions then. So it's the same again, neutralization reactions with part A, iron and sulfuric acid, part B, rubidium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, and part C, lead carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Hopefully that'll be straightforward for you now. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on the subscribe button down below visit the website and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter.